Hello, I'm here at Mullaney Manor, absolutely beautiful spot up on the Sunshine Coast hinterland. Really, really great place to get married. Just wanted to give you some thoughts on witnesses. Uh, people ask me a lot of questions about witnesses, so here's just some basic info. People usually ask, can they be anyone? Absolutely, they can be anyone. The only restrictions are that they have to be an adult and they have to have understood the ceremony. So generally that means to be able to understand English. Um, if they fit those categories, they can be your witnesses. We need two of them. Um, now, what normally happens is they, they default to being a best man and a maid of honor, which is absolutely fine. But uh, have a think about it. A lot of people use their mums as their witnesses, uh, but you can use anyone. And what I think is really powerful is that there's, the witnessing is an opportunity to really honor somebody. If there's someone who's traveled a long way that means so much to you, if you really had trouble deciding on that last person in your bridal party, if that was you, um, sometimes it's the people that were there when you met, when you met each other, sort of formed the start of your relationship. The witnessing is a great opportunity to honor another person. So best man, maid of honor, fantastic. Uh, mums, dads, excellent, uncles, aunts. They can be someone who's um, meant a lot to you in your personal journey or your journey as a couple. But it's a really nice way to honor another person in your day. Your celebrant will bring along a certificate that looks like this, among others, but uh, this is where you guys will sign, and then down below, the two witnesses will sign there. There's about four or five signatures that they need to do, and your celebrant will show them where to sign on the day. I hope that helps. God bless.